Dearest valued client of ours, this is a video on how to do the NutriVal. And this is one of the most complicated ones, I'd say, because we're collecting blood and urine. So the first thing that you'll want to do is get your box, open up the box, and what you're going to find inside is a freezer block. So this is what the freezer block looks like. You're just going to place this in your freezer. You just get it, you can leave it in the freezer at least eight hours, because you want to make sure that this is put in the box before you ship it out. So this is the way that most people do it. This seems to be the most convenient way of doing it. So you're going to make sure that for both the urine collection and for the blood collection that you have an empty stomach. So fast for eight hours at least. So I place the freezer block in the freezer the night before. And then what I do is of course on the instructions, just like I said in the very first video that applies to all of these videos, for four days, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're off of all supplements as well as any kind of protein powder or meal replacement shake that you're on so we don't trump this test. And it gives you more specific instructions in here when you get the test kit on exactly what things to avoid and what things to do. So, and then of course, the 48 hour period and the 24 hour period prior to collection for these you're gonna be limiting water by just a little bit. So eight eight ounce glasses uh, in those two days is advisable and you'll see that again in the instructions. So place the freezer block in the fridge, fast, don't eat anything in the middle of the night. If you're the kind of person that wakes up in the middle of the night and has to pee, that's cool. Just make sure that before you go to bed, you place a big cup next to you, whatever kind of cup you want to collect your urine. So if it's like two o'clock, 3 a.m. is what, when most people get up in the middle of the night because their liver's congested and it's dumping. So get a, that cup when you urinate in the middle of the night and place your urine and pee into that. And then what you're gonna do is when you, and just place that in the refrigerator. And then when you wake up in the morning and you have to pee again, you're gonna urinate in that same cup where you had that same specimen. Because what you're gonna wanna do is stir that up and take the collection from both of those samples. Because this is, we wanna make sure it's called first morning boy. So technically, hopefully you're collecting it when you first wake up and hopefully that's not two, three a.m. So we're gonna take the average of the two, and that's very crucial, and you wanna also make sure that you place that, that um, sample that you take at two to three a.m. or whenever you wake up in the middle of the night for the first time and put that in the fridge. And then what, you, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this little uh, container. There's gonna be three different kits. There's gonna be three different vials. You're gonna put the urine in, and the little dropper that's gonna transfer the urine from your, the cup into these containers. Place it back into uh, the bag, and it's going to ask you for the specimen, your, your name, the date, etc. This you're going to want to make sure that you freeze for two hours before you go to the blood draw. So you want to make sure that you have this frozen. And what most people do is that they freeze it, and then the next day, uh, because you know who really has time to wait around for their urine to freeze before they go to have their blood drawn. Um, but it's okay, you can still do the same thing. If you have some time, you wake up at six in the morning and if you take your collection and freeze it until like eight o'clock in the morning and then you have the, the liberty to go have your blood drawn at that time, cool. Just you wanna make sure that these are frozen for at least two hours. So what most people do is that they'll take their urine collection, they'll put it in the freezer, and then the next day they do their blood, which is all good. So let's imagine that's what you do. You take that, uh, take your urine, get it out of the freezer, take it with your block, Take that out of the freezer, put that into your box, and make sure that the blood collection vials are on top because when you go to have your blood taken at the lab, this is all gonna be in there, and then when they're done taking your, their, your blood, whoops, they're gonna put these plasma containers into the kit and ship everything out for you. So it is very important that when you go to the lab and have your blood drawn, because I have this happen to a lot of people, that you wanna make sure that you have fasted. You don't have to wait till three o'clock in, in the afternoon, noon, noon or anything, but just make sure that you have fasted for at least eight hours. So most people go in there, they wake up in the morning, they go have their blood drawn and they go to work. Uh, so very important that you're fasting for these things. So again, same thing with the form. You just wanna make sure that you've completed everything on here. Insurance card copies are in there as well. If the appropriate boxes have not been checked off and the ICD-9 code is not in there, you wanna make sure that you fill that out. Uh, the instructions again are in here so for females if you're menstruating we don't want you to collect your urine while you're menstruating it also says that in the kit uh, again fast 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 people forget that sometimes and I already talked about this uh, I already talked about this same thing and let's see I think I pretty much covered everything 
So those are the strategies. And if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff, make sure that you call Genova. That 1-800 number is listed on the requisition form. Try not to call us because we have you know back-to-back -back clients most of the days, and we might not be accessible by the time that you need an answer for that day that you plan to go to the lab. So I don't want to inconvenience you. If you have any questions at all, call Genova. They're there to help you um, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks, you guys. We'll have the uh, we'll have the results for these within two weeks and we'll go over them with you.